You don't really have a shoe collection if a black capital Oxford is not part of it, you know? You should come rolling my sh Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com and in this video, we're gonna talk about the one shoe that every man should have. If you've been on my channel before or if you're new, welcome. But one thing about me, I talk about shoes a lot. But one video that I haven't done yet is what's the one shoe that every man should have if they could only have one. Thinking about having just one pair of shoes makes me kind of sad, but I really wanted to make the video, so here it is. And the shoe that I'm talking about is the Black Capital Oxford. If you're not familiar with the Black Capital Oxford, a Black Capital Oxford's been around for generations and generations. A Black Capital Oxford is the quintessential shoe. Every man should have that shoe in their wardrobe. Certain occasions only call for a Black Capital Oxford. If you're going to a wedding, for example, you should only wear a Black Capital Oxford. If you're going to a funeral, you should only wear a black cap to Oxford. A black cap to Oxford can also be worn with a tuxedo. So like I was saying, this is one shoe that every man should have. Sadly, you'd be surprised to find out that a lot of men don't have a black cap to Oxford in their wardrobe. Like, when I work with guys one-on-one, -on -one, I know some of you are probably watching this video is like, oh my God, I already heard this speech from you a million times. About 50% of the time, somebody has a wedding that they're going to be attending, that they want to look nice for. Knowing me, I always start with the shoes, you know? So I always want to know, okay, what kind of shoes do you have? Or what kind of shoes are you planning to wear to this wedding? I'd say at least 50% of the guys don't even have a pair of black shoes, let alone a pair of black cap to Oxford. So I always steer my clients towards getting a pair of black cap to Oxford, depending on what their budget is. The great thing about a black cap to Oxford is every shoemakers make them. So depending on your budget, you can always find a pair anywhere from 200 all the way up to 2,000 and more. Now don't get me wrong, I love brown shoes. Brown shoes come in so many different shades where black is really only one color. But the thing about black shoes, you don't have to buy a bunch of them. You really only need one. And if you are going to have one, it should be the black cap to Oxford. Recently, I was on the market for a pair of black cap to Oxford. The pair that I had was one for male men that I used to wear to work. Once again, I don't wear black shoes a lot, but I've always wanted to upgrade that pair. So without further ado, let me show you my pair of black cap to Oxford. So my pair of black cap to Oxford is from Vaj Budapest. As I've said plenty of time on this channel, my favorite round toe is the f Last from Vaj Budapest. One thing about the black cap to Oxford, it's more of a classic shoe. So in my case, I knew I wanted a round toe as opposed to a square toe because I feel like a round toe is a little bit more classic. A pair of black cap to Oxford is one of the most simple shoes that you can get. It has no kind of broguing whatsoever, very minimal lines. One thing that I really, really love about this pair is the fact that it doesn't have a back seam. Most shoes would have a seam going right down the middle. This one, the back is more clean. It's actually at the top is where the seam is. This shoe come with the lasted shoe trees. It also has the metal toe taps, which minimizes the damage to the sole, especially if you walk the way that I walk, where the front is the part that usually goes first. It has the JR soles. JR, as I mentioned before, lasts about two to three times longer than any regular leather sole. I don't know what else to say. This is a beautiful shoe, as you can see. And once again, it doesn't really matter what your budget is. You can always find a black cap to Oxford from every shoemaker. When I received them, the first thing I did was switch the round laces to flat laces. Vash, all their shoes come with round laces, even though in that case, I did ask for flat, but I guess they don't have any. <laughs> so they sent them with the round. But yeah, this is the Black Cap to Oxford. This is a very elegant shoe, very understated, but it still really makes a statement. When you wear a beautiful black shoe, you're definitely gonna find people staring at your feet. So God forbid I have to get rid of all of my shoes, they could only keep one, it would definitely be despair. Oh, real quick, one thing that I love about Vash shoes, if you look inside of the right shoe, it tells you when the shoe was constructed and also who worked on your shoes. In my case, my shoe was constructed on the 12th of April, 2019, and um, Atelier is who worked on my shoes. So that's a really nice touch to know exactly when the shoe was made and who's responsible for this piece of art. When I hold these shoes in my hand, Hand, I really feel like I'm holding a piece of art. This is such a beautiful shoe and the beauty is in its elegance. Like there's nothing crazy about it. There's nothing that really sticks out. It's just a really, really beautiful design. Very simple. Just a regular cap toe. Not too many lines. Some of them come with a gooseneck, but this one doesn't have it and I'm cool with that. No back seam like I was saying before, which is a really clean look. Shout out to Vash on that. I like the nail decorations that they have at the bottom here. Let me know in the comment section what brand of black cap to Oxford you have and why. And if you're thinking about getting one, one, what price range do you want to stay within and maybe I can help. I'm thinking about doing a video on the best black cap to Oxford that you can get depending on your budget anywhere from 200 to about 2000. So that was my video on the one shoe that every man should have. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. 
subscribe, or everybody gonna think that you're a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.